At Christie's Appliance, we've moved our east side store to the Joanne Center on Broadway near Cole. Appliances from Maytag, Amana, GE, Whirlpool, KitchenAid, and Frigidaire. And we've added Simmons Beautyrest mattresses. Family owned and operated. We're, We're at Christie's, Christie's Appliance. Appliance. Tortelloni, little mounds of joy stuffed with ricotta cheese and leafy greens. They're a bit larger than their northern Italian cousin, the tortellini, but like any pasta, they're best consumed when made fresh. And today on Tucson Kitchen Secrets, we're getting a crash course from the master. So I'm over here at North Italia, the Long Cantata Mall, where executive chef Kevin Hant makes fresh pasta every day. He's going to show us how to make them. So today we're going to make the uh, spinach tortelloni here at North. Um, what I have here is some double zero flour. Double zero means that it's been ground uh, double fine than regular, regular flour. In this container here I have uh, spinach and egg yolk mixture. We've taken spinach and blanched it in boiling water. Then we wring it out literally like you, you are a towel until it's as dry as you can possibly get it. Chop it up and blend it with the egg yolks right into a blender and go as smooth as possible. As you can see there's no real like leafy grain texture. We're going to just mix this up and, and incorporate until it's just perfect. Once you get it to incorporate, you can come right out of the bowl right onto your counter or your working space. And then we'll start the kneading, the kneading action. Should be a total of like five minutes work here, but you do have to work at it. It does get tougher as you go. The gluten really stretching out, really becoming tight. So this is just about where we want to be. I'm going to wrap this up and we're going to let it rest 30 minutes to an hour. So that way the gluten will relax a little bit and we'll be able to play with it and we'll go from there. This is left over from our last dough that we've made. What I'm going to do is I need to get it into the machine here. So we're just going to kind of flatten it out just to fit the machine. Always start as wide as the machine will go and we'll work our way down. What we're looking for on thickness is just how, how thin you want it to be desired. Here we go probably, I would say, 30 seconds of an inch, maybe even 60 fourths of an inch. I mean, it's pretty thin. On the last, the last run, you want to run it through a second time. You're stretching that gluten out, and it's like a rubber band. It wants to go back to its shape. And on that second time, it'll help uh, keep it at that, that thickness. Uh, we're going to do tortellonis, which requires a circle cutter. A biscuit cutter, you'll notice that when I cut it, I'm not really like making big circular motions. What happens is that if you don't cut all the way through and you're making those big circular motions, really you're just, it's like pulling the sheets on your bed. Here we do a uh, four cheese filling. It's ricotta, mascarpone, pecorino, grana padano. For this size of circle, we're gonna put about the size of a quarter on there. When it comes to uh, sealing, we use high quality Tucson H2O. What we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it over very similar to an empanada or a taco and just start pinching at the top. Go all the way down the sides. Make sure to squeeze next to the cheese first coming out. And now we'll make sure that the, uh, the air pockets get out. And then we're just simply gonna take the two edges right here. We're gonna pull them over and then just pinch them. So we're gonna put the dish together. Uh, what we have here is we have some sliced garlic that is in a, uh, a little bit of uh, canola oil and olive oil mixed together. A mix of roasted mushrooms here. The mix we use in this restaurant is uh, shiitake and cremini. They're roasted with a little bit of olive oil, salt, and rosemary. Some Bloomsdale spinach here. And then this is burro fuso. Uh, burro fuso is a um, mounted butter. What this is, is we've emulsified it into some water and a little bit of herbs in there to give it a little bit of flavor. And then of course, our tortellonis right here. I'm actually gonna go over there and drop the tortellonis in the pasta water. And these will literally be done in three minutes max. In our dish, we're gonna need some of the pasta water that we're gonna be cooking over there. So I'm just gonna drag some of this pasta water into this pan. So I have my, my pan on uh, medium high heat. Uh, we're going to sweat the garlic before the pan gets too hot. Let that come together. Right there is perfect. We're starting to get a little, little color on the edges. We're gonna add the mushroom mix and the spinach. Let that saute up. The pasta water, it's nice and starchy. 
gonna help steam everything up. Now we're gonna add our burro fuso. We can put our tortellonis in. Notice I'm not gonna put any more pasta water in there. We're gonna add some fresh grana padano right into it. Mix that in. And then we're just gonna go right into the bowl. A little more fresh grated grana padano right on top. And then this is a uh, saba mateca. Um, it's a uh, redu reduced grape must. We're just gonna put a little drizzle right over the top of it. And that's our spinach tortelloni, enjoy.